Hello everyone, my name is BC, welcome back to another episode on the Ramblecraft server, this is episode 14, and in today's video what we're going to be working on is the lighthouse, so as you guys know we've been working on the undergrounds for a pretty pretty long time actually well for the past two three episodes or so uh because before that we've been working in the christmas village and um i mean th the basements like this whole cave thing storage system and then this bit it looks absolutely amazing but when we go out at the top if we manage to go out there we go like so and we did not do it <laughs> let's try this again right let's try this again let's go up there we go we did it we did it guys <laughs> we did it. So, if we go outside, um, as you can see, it is raining. So, um, who are you? Minecraft world. Uh, but it looks a bit empty. We only have the house. We don't have anything else. And uh, one of the projects I really wanted to build over here was the uh, the watchtower slash lighthouse. Uh, originally, it was meant to be a watchtower. But I think a lighthouse would be nice, having just a little bit of light circulating around. Um, I mean, it doesn't really have to be circulating around, but just have something with light. So then when we fly over into this base, we'll have a little bit of that dynamic sort of lighting happening. You know, a little light over here, a little light coming from the house. Um, I, I feel like that's a pretty good idea. So um, that's the plan for today's video. And it is raining and I absolutely hate rain. And I think it's turning nighttime. So I think we better sleep. Uh, but before we actually start building and do anything towards the lighthouse, slash watch tower. Uh, what I was thinking, well, first thing we need to fix our pickaxe. Um, our pickaxe is a bit dead at the moment, as you can see. There we go. Uh, and we need that to gather some resources because we definitely need to gather some resources for this build. So what I'm going to do is go over to the end farm, fix up the pickaxe, and then go and gather some resources. Okay, so I'm at the end portal and... Um there is a little bit of a glitch behind me. I don't know what happened over here. Um, we have been upgrading the server like several times, but uh, what? Like the, the portal blocks are missing and there's nothing here. Like I can walk through here. Whoa, <laughs> I thought I fell into lava, but seriously, the end portal is broken. So the pickaxe is now completely uh, regenerated, as you can see. Okay, maybe not completely, but it's, it's missing a couple of the durability points. But it's nearly uh, completed. We got a loads upon a loads of ender pearls just to restock some of the chests, and also we have seventeen enderman head. 17 endermen head that's absolutely crazy i did kind of just pick them out from the chest i definitely did not get 17 endermen's head just from uh, mining i know they're pretty useless but i have an idea for them as you go oh, whoa no dude 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 that was scary <laughs> but um yeah um coming back to enderman's head so um i know i've as you guys know i've been using them for a little while now and um well kind of wearing one i'm not really wearing one at the moment but i have been for the past i think like six episodes or something probably not six but uh, you get the gist and um i kind of want to decorate my base with enderman's head it's it's kind of been a, a theme of the channel these heads they're absolutely amazing and i cannot place them for some reason why can't i place them any oh i can Haha, ha. Enderman head. We have an Enderman buddy. So you guys said we need to gather some materials, but um, we do have a lot of red and white terracotta. And uh, those are the materials I kind of want to build the lighthouse out of or have its main frame. It will have like stone at the bottom and then it will like sort of transition into this and it'll go like red, white, red, white, red, white. And then like a capsule at the top with the light. But um. I feel like we might have a little bit more terracotta back at the Christmas bridge. As you guys know, we do have a temporary storage area uh, under the uh, the Christmas tree. So I'm going to grab my shulker box uh, and I'm just going to see if we maybe already have those materials. Because if we do, this will save us a lot of time. Hey, chicken. How you doing? <laughs> Goodbye, chicken. So we have made it back into the, well... It's a Christmas village. We haven't been here for a long time. And it is night time and the apocalypse is about to begin. Oh, oh boy. Let's, 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 kiss, let's kill this zombie. There we go. And there's another one. And I feel like we should just go into our temporary storage area. Because otherwise, we're going to be like... Oh, actually, let's check this chest. This chest might have something. Does it have anything? It has snow blocks. It has white wool. I'm definitely going to take that. Uh, coal block. I'm definitely going to take that. Anything else useful? No. Oh, dude, 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 dude. I'm going underground. There we go. I will see you one day soon. 
Never. <laughs> but let's have a look if we can find any terracotta that could be very helpful. So we got red terracotta, red terracotta right here. We have some green terracotta as well. You know what? While we're at it, well, I'm just going to take all these decorational blocks. I'm going to call these decorational blocks. Uh, we have some more. We have lime. I don't think we'll be using lime, but, um, you know, it's a good one. We have loads of poppies and green dye. That's that's good to know. Oh, boy. Terracotta heaven. I think we have everything we need. Yep. Yep, that's it. We have regular terracotta. We can die as well. Okay, I am... Yep, I think I am sorted. I'm 100% sorted. I see you. I'm I look so weird because I'm looking at two screens. And it's like, hardly oh. <laughs> any delay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right. Right, so what's uh, what's this all about? Because uh, well, you said... You have, I have like a new item in my shop. You may notice it in my offhand. Is that like a yeah? I've heard of those. I don't know what they do though. They're just like this the golden people. A totem, it's a totem of undying. So oh, okay. If, if you die, it stops you dying. So it's like a get out of jail free card, and then it disappears. Oh, okay. So hmm. I am That's interesting. Myself, yeah, they are very interesting and very strange. But <laughs> first one, first one's on me. <gasps> That's so cool. So, like, okay. how does it work? Do I have to, like, right-click it or something? Or does it just do its no, thing it, while it's it, in my inventory? Yeah, if you have it active. So, most people keep it in their offhand. And then oh, so you have to have it in your hand you do. for it to work. It, okay, okay, okay. Hand, okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, and then if you... However you die, you'll just be resurrected, basically. Okay. And that's it. Okay, makes sense. Okay. So, yeah. So, if you're doing something dangerous, like fighting the wither or... Ender Dragon or anything is it's handy thing to have. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That's all right. So <laughs> well, as it's a fairly special episode for me at the minute, I'm recording episode 20. I was doing a tour of the server just to coincide with this. So mm -hmm. I'm dropping these things off with everyone. So I have toured your base. Not I do have though, like but... two, well, a little corridor as an addition. <laughs> well, I haven't really I, done much. I, you didn't have your storage area last time I came. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, and that. I've seen it in videos, but I haven't actually been. Do you want to have a look? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you follow me this way. Okay. Okay, right. So if we jump down here, some slime box at the bottom. Ow, I, I didn't land on the slime, but all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, totem, all right. Yeah, um, so, right. So this is my storage area. Um, okay. It's kind of themed after like my old storage area. Uh, from my survival let's play I thought I'd bring it over with the with the ceiling and everything kind of keeping it like a cavey sort of thing I like that. um yeah and there's like lighting hitting under the uh the carpets and yeah it's it's pretty simple <laughs> and then um on the other side I've got two kind of redstone -y things and I'm not the best at redstone so they kind of work but they kind of don't so um uh, we yeah, have an yeah. auto smeltery that smells oh, like, like, I think, 12 items at once. I kind of want to expand cool. in the future, adding some yeah. more modules at the back, but I don't know how to do that, so I'm going to have to figure that out. And then on here, on this side, I've got like an auto wheat farm that also works with carrots, potatoes, and whatever else. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so is this to really just go back and forth, right-clicking it? Yeah, literally. Very cool. And that's, that's really it. That's the... New additions to the base. After a short visit of Endivar and giving him a little bit of a tour of the base, like the, the new bits, and he also surprised us with a totem of undying. I have no idea what it is. Well, we kind of explained what it is. Uh, simply, it prevents you from dying, which is good because we already have two deaths and we definitely don't want any and more deaths. We want to have as least amount of deaths as anyone on the server if that makes sense so we want to have as, like as little deaths as everybody else by the, at the end of the season and uh i i really don't know who has the most and i don't know who has the least i i i remember kieran dev one of them i can't remember which one but one of them had like a loads upon loads of deaths like over 200 or something i don't know how they're doing right now but um yeah they had the most uh like that that i know of maybe someone has more i really don't know but um i have set up all the uh the materials that we need for the build over here um in the chest we got some spruce wood some oak logs some um stone uh, bricks some some chests and whatnot and then over here we have a white terracotta red terracotta 
Uh, we also have some wool. We don't need the green stuff, but it was here, so why not just keep it here just in case we do want it? And then we have some more terracotta down in the basement. Um, but before we do start doing any work, we kind of need to land terraform this area. As you can see, my shovel is a little bit broken. I know we've been repairing our pickaxe over at the end farm, and I kind of forgot about my shovel. But that was good that I did forget it because, uh, well, first we don't have mending on it, but we also have another shovel which has efficiency 4 on it. And both of these uh, shovels are efficiency 4, so hopefully if I combine these two, this should uh, possibly change this into an efficiency 5 shovel. It does. It costs 8 levels, so I'm going to see if I can change this around. Maybe this will be cheaper. No, this is 14. Okay, let's do the 8 level way, like so. There we go. So it's somewhat fixed. It's not 100% durability, but it's got unbreaking on it and efficiency 5 and the anvil broke as well. <laughs> I got a little bit confused there. But um, yeah, now we have a pretty beefy and a hefty shovel to get some of the digging done required for the build. <laughs> So the lighthouse is now finally completed. Well, the outside of it is. As you can see, it looks absolutely amazing. I love it. Like, seriously. Like, the scale of it is humongous. If we fly up, it looks huge. That is, that is humongous. That is amazing as well. And uh, it's slightly automated as well. So um, if we go up onto the, the roof, I've put like a daylight sensor over there. Um, and then it kind of detects if it's light or um, if it's day. And depending on the time of day or the time of night, uh, the light actually turns on. It doesn't let it swivel around just because we only put, like, one light in. But it works. And that's what matters. The light comes out of the, you know, the glassy bits. And it just looks amazing, especially in shaders. Oh, boy. Shaders look absolutely amazing. We added this little bit of a railing on the sides. Um, kind of improvised with um, levers over there as well on the sides on like the edges to hold up the railings and I feel like that actually really works well because well we're a little bit too fast but it looks really well like it actually looks like that is holding up the railing which I'm pretty happy with and we have had to fall down but as we fall down I kind of want to show you guys the windows so I did little kind of window shutters but from the top as well with uh, the fence gates and some trap doors which I really really like I also like the detail how it kind of just like goes together it's not like a circle then a smaller circle then a smaller circle it kind of just like slims down and it kind of slims down symmetrically but unsymmetrically which which gives a little bit of that extra depth i i really really like that i like the um the trapdoors as well over here just to give that kind of a, the, like a little border you know a little like separation on the inside we haven't actually done much um i mean on the outside as you can see there's there's a lot more detail over here with the stone but on the inside if we go on the inside um there, there's really nothing and we probably won't be doing anything in today's video just because i have no ideas of what to put in here i just wanted a lighthouse or like a watchtower uh obviously there's going to be some sort of a staircase going up to the top or maybe like a um a ladder of some sort I don't know maybe we can have like several floors and different floor would have something different on here uh, please leave me some suggestions in the comment section below because that would be absolutely helpful because <laughs> I seriously have no idea what I'm gonna do here um, we have a pressure plate here we have a button I don't know what we have both but we have both apparently and um, yeah that's that is the 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 lighthouse thingy and it is going to turn at nighttime really 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 soon so we're gonna have a look at this in shaders 
But boy oh boy, I'm absolutely loving it. And also, I'm just gonna go and do like another fly around just to have a look how it all looks like. This side is gonna look good. We're gonna have a port over here, maybe some towers over here, maybe like a melon and a pumpkin farm tower. So like one tower here and one tower here and then like a port thing in the future. And that kind of will tie everything together. Uh, and then we might even expand to other islands. I kind of want to see how it looks like on this side. How does it look like on this side? Looks absolutely fabulous. Looks amazing. So what I'm going to do is park myself up on the, the, the top of here. Like so. Try not to die. And because it is sunset and the sun is setting. Uh, let's turn on the shaders because I really want to see this in shaders. I haven't seen this in shaders. Well, I have seen this in shaders once while it was being built but i haven't really sh sh saw it in shade as well once it was already completed so first things first the view is magnificent from here in shaders especially oh oh my god and why isn't the light turning on uh there has been some issues with the light turning on and i think i know why if we fly up and we go onto the roof i think it's because there is a block on here so if we remove the block and we do this and uh, maybe rather than just having the block let's 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 switch these around or just do this let's just do that I, I know the block looks nicer but let's try this does the light work it doesn't work i don't know what's up it worked earlier on what oh it's working it's working it's <laughs> it's working now okay so it is working. I wonder if it works with the, with the block because it didn't like I thought it didn't work with the block But let's have a look if it works with the block because I'm now curious because was it just because we had to wait? What about if we if we if we uh, replace a, uh, a block over here? Does that make a difference or does it still work? Oh, <gasps> it still works Okay Then uh, we're gonna keep it with the block because it looks so much nicer Let's just place uh, one of those. Let's go like this. Let's place one of those because it looks way nicer with the block and I'm breaking everything. Like seriously, I just built this and I'm destroying the place. Um, and now what we need to do is get rid of these just to make it look nice and pretty once again, like so. Is it still working? It is still working. That is brilliant. I love how the light reflects of the glass and everything, but I want to see it on the outside. So let's do a little fly around, fly through, like so. And this looks amazing. Whoa, like the light isn't too strong. If we do a spinny, so we kind of stay in one place. Yeah, the light isn't too strong, but it illuminates and looks so good from far away. Uh, if we fly away just a little bit further away, like here. Yeah, this looks magnificent. I love it. This is brilliant. This is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, and on that note, on the amazingness that we have over here, we're going to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Um, uh, do give me some ideas of what I should be putting inside of this um, lighthouse. And if you've got any other ideas for this island, uh, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. And in return, you'll get a shout out on the video. Maybe even like a, like a little sign on the build with your name. What do you think of that? I think that's a brilliant idea. But anyways, don't be blamed. I'm going to end this video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Take care, everybody. And bye bye. Oh my god, this looks fabulous.